Jackie Cash and Laurie Kilmartin. All right, oh, we're doing fucking it. Fucking comedy clubs are closed this week. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of city is this? <laughs> Every club is open in New York City right now and on Christmas. Christmas Eve, um, everything's shut down. I was going to go to Flappers and just like try to get on a set. And they're not even you know open. Do you know why? Seeks. There's so many Seeks in New York. That's why. <laughs> um, um, yes. Yeah. There are plenty of, but you know what? This isn't a religious town. This is a town full of people that left their families and have nothing to do. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about the comics. I'm talking no, about I, other. I, this is what made me go. We should start recording is Kyle said, Lori, do you have a set after this? And Lori was like, no, I don't. And I have to say, <laughs> I had a comparable feeling this very day um, where oh. I was like, I wanted to go to a set. Be and it was. It's too bad. We should have scheduled. We should have scheduled a Zoom show. Do you want to do a Zoom so show tomorrow night on Christmas? Uh, let me double check. But that sounds like a great idea. Like yeah. Monday night, Christmas night. Yeah. We could do it. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know how we can get our uh, notify our max funners. I mean, everybody's on break, but P P Patreon and, and, and Rangers of the Dork Forest. Two weeks off. I'm taking two weeks off here uh, on Good the Dork you. Forest. Much deserved. Yeah. yeah. Every 18 years. <laughs> like we'll a, take like, a like, of... kind of like a cicada or cicada. I'm watching Slow Horses and, and the way they say cicada is like, uh, I'm like, is that British or is that correct? Like, I, I don't think I know how to say it because they only come around every 17 years. So I haven't invested <laughs> the necessary brain power. <laughs> into figuring it out. I want to eat this yeah. cookie so bad, but not on camera and not on audio. So I so said gingerbread yeah. cookie with some white chocolate peppermint going on. It's really good. I'm going to put it to the side. Hold and, on. Uh, well, this hold up. It's hour. Christmas Eve. It'll be a quick hour. We'll we'll get through it. <clears throat> um, we were supposed to go up to Cambria with mm -hmm. uh, Andy's mama. Mm -hmm. and uh, my mother-in-law and mm -hmm. she is ill again and in the hospital and mm. so she'll be in ho she was in the hospital for thanksgiving day and she'll be in the hospital for christmas day so i want to do i want to do a zoom show but i don't know uh we should be back by tomorrow by you know andy has spent the last two nights there at the hospital uh, overnight yeah just sort of where's just he sleeping it, just like in a chair in a make yeah. Why can't hospitals just understand that people are when my kid had croup, I mean, luckily he was small enough so I could just get, get on the bed with him, but yeah. I wasn't going to leave. Are you insane? Right. Right. Why can't they do so, that? Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, but last night was better than the night before the first night. She was just sort of like, she's been having these pain spikes and the pain spikes are literally, I think driving her nuts. And uh, so he was just sort of a familiar face. Right. But he was like, I, I kind of want to come home tonight. And I was like, oh, yes, I don't blame you. I mean, I'm lucky because I get to come home yeah, uh, and take care of the animals and, you know, do, a, do all the house stuff. And um, yeah, but uh, yeah, but he, sounds yeah, like yeah, a so. great time. Clean the house <laughs> and take care of the animals. Jackie's never been right. luckier. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, you know, it was funny because remember, uh, at some point when, as, as much as I love it, I like my, my mother-in-law, the house is very small. And so mm -hmm. I would joke about living alone and being by myself. And so the last two nights, it's just been me and the animals, which is not living alone, but it's <laughs> no, close it to living alone. Yeah. And I, the first night I was like, Oh, I don't know if I like this last night. I was okay. By the way, <laughs> last night was fun. <laughs> So, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I so, am. Yeah. So I'll tell you, uh, like by tomorrow day and then we can just sort of do a blast. We'll do a blast. Yeah. Kylie, we'll throw it together. what do you got tomorrow night? You want to do a, a zoom show? I'm going to have to stand by cause the answer is maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a maybe all around then you guys. Um, yeah, um, I'll be, I'll be available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, maybe there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird. I, like my son is in Texas. Oh, right, with his fam, with the with his dad's fam. 
he's he's at like some sort of COVID ground zero family <laughs> celebration. Right. So, you know, he's armed with information. He's armed with everything I bring on the road. Yep. And I hope he does, if he does 60%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just turn the air purifier on in the main room where everyone is. Don't touch it. Leave it on for five days straight. Okay. Yep. That's something. Do the nasal yep. spray whenever you remember it. I know he's not going to mask it, it, you know, with the family, but right. he, you know, he does on the plane. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Mm-hmm. So, right. Yeah. Uh, I gave you guys uh, masks, uh, trinkets. <laughs> you did. You gave and, us, uh, and you Santa tried Claus to masks. offer me a. Uh, uh, you tried to offer me uh, Try. an air purifier. Oh, for for the yeah, to... for the hospital room, and yeah. I said no, thank you. And he said, "Good call." So, um... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. You know, you're invincible when you're stands. 17. Of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. Uh, we, we, we're, I'm spending a good portion of our time trying not to alienate the staff. I've been bringing them <laughs> right. and trinkets and mm-hmm. in an effort. I, I wanted to bring them a charcuterie board tomorrow, but Andy was like, we can't bring them meat and crackers. They won't put, they won't, <laughs> they'll throw it out. And I was like, they will not. They will not. And like one time I brought them, I brought them, one day I brought them pears, like mm-hmm. Harry and David pears. Mm-hmm. And then the next day I just brought them Trader Joe candy. And then uh, today I brought them a sort of a nut, some some candied nuts from Bristol Farms. That's very nice. Um, in That's an effort. more than yeah, yeah. a lot of people uh, I'll I'll bribe get. a I'll bribe a nurse. As I said, my sister got them all socks when my mom was a... Uh, in the right. COVID hospital. Uh, compression hey, let me, socks, uh, right? My or, yeah. son is calling. Let me just... Oh, weird. Uh, Do you want to pause? Yeah, no. Let's... let's uh, Kyle was so protective. Uh, thank you, Hun. You're uh, on the pod. You're calling from Texas. What's up, pod gang? Yeah. Are, you, are you there to see Joe Rogan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. And Merry Christmas. God Merry Christmas. bless America or something. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah. Quite the cynic God already. Bless America, <laughs> Hun, Yeah, now wow. my apple does not fall that far from the tree, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. My parenting skills are on the line. Every word you Free speak, Palestine, guys. Okay, all right. Well, <laughs> Hun, uh, I'm going to say I love you and call you back later. We do have Aww. listeners from all over the world. <laughs> Thirty years from now, you're going to listen to this and go, right. "She did love me." Love you. All right, I love you. Talk to you later, honey. Bye. Sorry, pod gang. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Pod gang. Gen Z, you guys. All right. We're listening Gen to Z. by everybody. They're Z in it. Um, yeah. So uh so I missed this guy, even though I you know, it's uh you know, it's weird. I I realized the thing is is and Charmy, I dropped off at a I I uh, I uh, reserved this time think hoping I would have a gig. Oh my out God. of town, right? Right. And so I didn't, but I already zer- reserved dropping her off at the 22nd. So I dropped her off and then I took my son to the airport and I was like, oh my God, I'm alone in the house for the first time since 2016 when my mom moved down. Okay. Since then, wow. there's always been an occupant besides me, right. her, my son, right. or the dog, somebody needing me, somebody needing things from me. Right. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. this is the first time I've had like Claire, I don't know, just, just a time to not, I'm not jumping up and walking somebody or, you know, uh, whatever, <sighs> something. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. and, uh, so I realized I have like so much of a, a lot of furniture I, I took from my parents' house and, and brought it down oh, yeah. to make my mom feel like it was home. But now it's like, do I even like this shit <laughs> and I'm living <laughs> in it? Like there's, uh-huh. there's this old little blue kind of fainting couch that was my grandmother's that oh. according to the oral history, my uncle Jack uh, did, um, uh, uh, or he had somebody interview it and then he printed the whole thing. They, before they moved to, to Topeka, they were living at Albany. Right. And my, my grandpa was a, 
he he was like a retail uh, manager. He just managed stores for a living. Like he had okay. a store and then they went out of business during the depression. They had a store called Kill Martins. And oh, then, um, yeah, yeah. so they, for some reason they were in West Virginia for a little bit and they bought a ton of furniture and then they took it all with them to Topeka. So this couch is like from oh, about a hundred years old as are a bajillion couches. Like it's not special. <laughs> There's like a, a million pieces of furniture this old, but it's like, well, right. my grandma brought it, bought it. And I remember my grandma, obviously my son has no idea who she is and what am I keeping it for? You know? Right. Right. It's and do you use it? Right. I, mean, I was going to say, is it comfortable? No, it's not. It could, you know, you could put new padding in. Like the padding's about 100 you years could, old as you well. Could, yes. You could reupholster totally it refurbish and get it restuffed. It. Yeah. That's a lot of money. And like, right? do I, I want to be restuffing furniture. And I, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to be making my life smaller soon. You know, I, where, right. where, I, you know, I might not have, a place for a spare couch who does you know well i don't know it's a I lot i don't know but you, you have a what you're saying is that you have kind of a lot of furniture you have that weird sectional or that giant chair oh that now that i room? bought on my own and, and i love and you it love and it okay my son and i sit together <laughs> on it and even at full size he, we both fit on it together and our legs kick out it's like a big jay's lounge chair yeah and mm -hmm. uh, that was a big purchase when i yeah yeah that was a big, uh, me and my son forever purchase that he'll all like, he might want that later on. If you know, I, I have yeah. no idea. That'll be a big memory for him as us sitting together, watching the walking dead on the big, uh, the big chair, and all the anime watching and all a that thousand stuff. hours of anime yes. and <laughs> watching the big people eat the little people. <laughs> and Jackie, they're called Titans. Get it together. <laughs> right. There's big Titans and there's little Titans. No, Titan. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't want to get in the weeds here on the podcast. Yeah, don't get in the weeds. Don't get in the weeds. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, Andy was like, uh, it's Christmas Eve. So he, he came home with me uh, and we're going to hang out tonight. And we don't have any food in the house because um, I've just been eating you know, for the last four days, he's been at the hospital the whole time mm -hmm. and I've been bringing him food, but then mm -hmm. like, we're down to like some real leftovers here. <laughs> and, um, we did stop at, uh, cost plus world market. And get this. I bought, they have like Indian space food. It is like, it's a tikka masala, but it it's, it's a, or it's a lentil, uh, paste and it's in like a packet that you would take out into space oh like couple noodles. Float by kind of but it was uh even it feels even more space-like i wish i had it to show you uh while Lori was talking about the beautiful world of her son i got to eat that cookie and let me tell you something <laughs> it was really good i knew you were oddly encouraging for me to talk to my son <laughs> I knew he had an ulterior uh, agenda my ulterior motives i really wanted to eat that gingerbread cookie and um i liked uh but so andy was like he wanted to go see the godzilla movie mm -hmm. um you want to see Godzilla or, and I haven't gotten any screeners because I think just, just WGA screeners have come now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think the SAG screeners are out yet. And, or if they are, I didn't, uh, I wasn't eligible this year, but. Um, uh, did you pay because, your dues? I think if you pay your dues, you should always be. Oh, hmm. oh yeah. Laura said that she was watching Wonka last night. I called her. It's, a, and, it's That's a digital FYC. For at least for the Writers Guild, I'm sure it yeah. will be for SAG too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you don't get a DVD, you just get a number. Yeah, but I don't want to type. I don't want to <laughs> type it into my television. <laughs> so easy. Well, like with Apple, not TV, with my remote. <laughs> you just add the app to your Apple, the FYC for your consideration app, and then okay. every year you it it you know it's just like a separate channel that you get to watch you know your oh your screeners on. It gets and can you, handy. And does it work with Chromecast where I can throw it to my TV? I don't know because I don't use Chromecast. Okay. Uh, well, probably. I'm sure it does. Yeah, I I'm sure everything is possible. Salt Bay or Salt Burn. Oh, and did you? Um, it is so great. I love Barry Keegan or Kagan. I love that guy. I love that guy. 
It's and and by the way, he's supposedly pay, playing a freshman college student, and he looks forty. Like they just, he's <laughs> such a good actor. They're like, we we got to make this happen. <laughs> John Travolta in Greece, uh, <laughs> and everyone just, else looks really young and um, right, you know, except it's for really him. Weird. Yeah. Well, it is yeah. also weird. Uh, I so I did West Side last night. Oh. Um, and who was it? Damn, I wish I could remember his name, but I remember some of the other comics. But uh, but we were. I was talking to Jay Washington about about the Marvel universe, and there's so many movies in the Marvel universe yeah. that for the five that are my favorite may not be the five that are the favorite of a straight black man, right? That might right. not be. Yes. You know, that's not. So when I said that I love the first Avengers, the first event, the first Captain America movie, he was like, that's one of your favorites. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I love, first of all, I love world war two history. And this is, I, and I love buffoonish Nazis. That's how I like my Nazis. Buffoonish. <laughs> Did you I like, like uh, Hogan? <laughs> did you like Hogan's Heroes? I loved Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> I hated. I I didn't even mind Schindler's List because he tricked it, and uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> all of sure. the Indiana Jones. <laughs> but when Inglorious Bastards, I didn't like because it was too fictional, and I was like, "Don't reinvent the, you know, too many." It, it was love- sort of like. Yeah, that opening scene of *Inglorious Bastards*, where the, the family is underneath the floorboards, and what's his face? Uh, oh my God, the actor waits Christoph or something Waltz. like. Yes, yeah. Oh God, it's so good. Oh, right. I mean, there's amazing incredible. scenes in in yeah. everything, right? So, right, right, right. And then he was telling me that one of the ones he liked, one of his favorites, and I th- and I think this is true. I think he, uh, I might have extrapolated because we got we got in the weeds speaking of getting in the weeds we got a red guardian i wish i'd have been there to listen i love i love hearing (laughs) comics argue about movies i was privy to a taylor swift argument in the green room at the west side crazy crazy but yeah so i wish i'd been there but but west side green room west side green room first of all (laughs) uh what i like about west side now is that they're just handing you uh a non-sweaty twenty dollar bill instead of giving me a check Yes. And yes. I'm like, that's all. Just thank you. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. Thank you very much for the 12 to 15 minute set mm-hmm. and, and the free water and the Ms. Pac-Man game. Yes. I got to go. So, um, but yeah, the, but the West side, it does, it lends itself to kind of interesting conversations. The other conversation I had was a fashion yeah. conversation about whether or not Izod and LaCosta are the same or what one bought the other and what happened? Cause the, the Lacoste or Lacosta, I don't know how to pronounce it. Their logo is that little Izod alligator, right? Right. So it, they were called Izod when I was a kid. Hmm. I and rem- now I remember Lacoste. them, but it wasn't a part of my life. I just remember well, them more being like, like members uh, only jackets. And, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like almost it was punch all of that nonsense. Stuff. Yeah. Yes. So, Anyway, we were going to go see Godzilla tonight, and now I've uh, there's a new season of What If, which is pretty great. Ooh. Is that and, uh, they... that's a Marvel thing? It's a Marvel comic, okay. uh, cartoon. So we'll be we'll be watching that. Uh, I've already watched the first four episodes of Reacher, uh, where oh, of course I, I the gorilla that. that plays Reacher will just pick up somebody's arm and crack it in half <laughs> in a cartoonishly hilarious, horrible way. And Andy's like, it's actually a little too. Why does he have to? And I'm like, because he's Richard. <laughs> why does Andy Richard. even ask that question? How insulting. <laughs> he knows. Um, yeah. The, the, you know what I think about the West Side when you brought that up is it's first of all, it's well lit. The green room is not dark. Right? right. You can you can pay attention to a conversation, then go to your notes. You don't have to, like, you know, turn your flashlight on or something. Mm-hmm. It's connected to this stage. So. You don't have oh, right. to run from there to go. So it's it's actually a perfect place for comics to be gathered because there's no place else. Everything else is for and the audience. And there's a full-on door. Like yes, there's, a, there's door, a door, so, so it's not a curtain, so you don't hear. have to whisper. Yeah. Right. So it actually is a great place to have discussions that are upsetting <laughs> to the artists before they go up on stage. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's cool. That's fun. Right. Yeah. I have, I I have like had, two new. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go. Oh, we have, uh, I have two new mother-in-law jokes. 
uh because she's which is she's just me helping her with uh some toiletries uh because of medical stuff right Right. and um it kind of worked and then i just i was on the phone with maria and i was telling her oh i also did the rip bodice that's right oh Um, nice yeah So, so i went and i bought and so i think i think it'll have I think I could do this all year. We'll see. Uh, it's it's about Christmas romance novels. Of course, and, yes. And um, I may have to write a Halloween romance novel joke. Uh, but uh, the only one I've come up with so far is just gross. And it's just how, you know, and this, I will not be doing this. So, hi, uh, listeners of the Jackie and Laurie show. <clears throat> uh, so there's the halloween romance novels uh people go uh women go and they meet the paranormal right they go into the into the woods so they meet a vampire or they go into oh, yeah. the, in, in into a moonlit uh desert and they meet uh a werewolf or a mummy where uh the mummy uh has to make her wet so she gets reconstituted anyway is that too much is that too far have i gone too far what do you wait Wait, who gets reconstituted? <laughs> the mummy. That's how that's how you bring a mummy back to life is if the mummy has any kind of love making skills. Yeah. Uh the woman gets so wet that he gets wet and he just uh it just he expands again. Uh interesting. I, I do think I don't know uh about mummy or revival. <laughs> and I, I, I think the word reconstitution may be too much. Because I, I, that's a great idea, but you might have to explain uh, how to revive a mummy up top. <laughs> right. And I don't want even want to go there. Some sort go of there. dusty, Jackie, weird, what are you wet for? pussy joke. It's yes. a, it's a, it's a dusty it's headlining, mummy. honey. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. And I can call the track dusty mummy, wet pussy. <laughs> anyone anyone or that i could call maybe i can call that that could be my um that could be how my be, autobiography how, why don't you call it drippy kitty instead of wet pussy <laughs> oh right that'll sell better someone who has the word cisgender <laughs> slut cunt what's the name of your <laughs> cunt what the cis woke grief slut <laughs> It's the word slut. That's where it all loses loses it. Well, apparently, but um, maybe maybe not. Either way, it's too late. So uh, it's all we're all in. So hopefully, it doesn't the get banned. cast. You're a lily. Do it. Own it. <laughs> um, oh, oh, I I started listening to Maria's uh, memoir. Uh, okay. T- two Jackie C- uh, Cation sightings. Uh, oh, right. Audible. I have jumped around Audible too Cation much. I've yet to see my own name. <laughs> so um it's up top it's like uh in the i don't because i'm listening to it so i don't know if it's in the intro or part one i think it's part one but yeah mm-hmm. there was some uh you know i have myself on google alert because it's my job not because i'm a narcissist M- though I melanie told me i had narcissist. to do <laughs> you are yeah she said we had to do that you know yeah it's 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 it doesn't make any sense not to do it right and it's uh, i have that and i have dork forest uh i do okay. not have jackie and laurie because that movie the 70s show keeps coming up anyway so <laughs> there's also yeah. that real estate team in texas that's uh taking oh, our wow. thunder again yeah. not as popular as that 70s show <laughs> the um but uh so i had my name is on google alert and there was an interview that maria did about her book and about her new special or something like that and the last line of the interview is her saying quoting me (laughs) and i was like well i I don't know i don't know i don't know what to do with that i mean i'm flattered of course as always yeah i mean what's not to love i know so i did i did glendale the glen i did uh ripped bodice Mm -hmm. which was um i just i literally just texted aaron judge and i was like uh chris in the hospital i kind of need to do a set <laughs> i gotta get out of my own head yeah and uh and she was like please come on down oh and cool. so uh and that's where i got the bit for the next night which was at the glendale room and mm-hmm. I, I talked to maria Bamford in the middle of that and i had just read i bought a christmas regency romance the the woman working the store said mm-hmm. oh we have these retro ones 
that mm-hmm. are on sale. This one's from 1993, A mm-hmm. Christmas Regency Romance. And I was like, oh, cool. I had forgotten that romance novels in the early, uh, probably the entirety of the 90s, uh, it was a transition period. And uh, and so I wrote a joke about that transition period and how mm-hmm. um, it's got, I think it has a lot of potential and it can lead into this Hollywood dusty mummy joke. And uh, <laughs> so, but um, I got to do it at, uh, at the Glendale room and then mm-hmm. I got to do it at the West side. And I, so I think it has, I think it has potential. The Glendale I'm room, happy impossible to, to park. The Glendale room, especially <laughs> you you don't the use, week you, of Christmas. You didn't use the garage? Oh, it was all the way filled all the way to the top? No, mm. I, I was at the top. You know, you know when you have to keep going up uh, yeah. and going up and going up? So I was outside on the ceiling, on the rooftop mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. parking lot. I park, I go to the elevator, I go to the club, uh, when I leave, I take the elevator back up. Um, I pay, you know, in the lobby. One dollar. Oh, my God. What a project for one dollar. <laughs> I wanted to say, if you had valet parking for six dollars, you could have had that five dollars for free. And uh, mm. and I also was trying to get a cup of coffee. And I couldn't. Uh, the Starbucks had just closed right around the Glendale room. Mm-hmm. So I went into, have you ever been to a King Taco Mm-mm. For coffee? Here's what I have to, okay. uh, well, they had a coffee maker and I and I paid for coffee, but I also got like a high maker. And the high maker was fine because the coffee she made it in such a way that made me go, I don't want that coffee. <laughs> uh, and so I abandoned it. But uh here's what I will say about King Taco. King Taco is the Mexican version of the Armenian restaurant Zanku Chicken. Oh, Everyone okay. was in King Taco. There was every race, religion, creed, color, size, shape, age. Aliens were there thinking to themselves, a tamale with mole or whatever, (laughs) right? A quesadilla. So I I was not hungry, so I didn't eat. But I will return, Lori. I will return, (laughs) Kyle. And I will have a king taco. I'm very excited about that. Um, I, uh, let's see. I was, uh, I went to Poncho's on Monday. What's that? That's, uh, that's, um, Danny, um, oh, I've got a blanket on his oh, last okay. name. Da- Danny, Danny's, Danny's room. Danny. Uh, it's, it's at the, it's a Mexican restaurant in, uh, Huntington Beach, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's a little Good teeny one, bit south of Hermosa Beach, uh, Comedy Magic. And what, and, uh, what, what day it's was Monday that? nights. It's okay. like from nine to 11 or so. It's okay. a bar. Like there's yeah. a, a, uh, taxidermy shark hanging from some of the ceiling. I think it's a, a shark, shark or it's some sort of, <laughs> but game. it's like, it's fun. Yeah. It's, um, you know, I didn't for a while I didn't do it cause I was worried. I was like, Oh no one here has been vaxxed. <laughs> it's one of those audiences, <laughs> but it's like, all right, whatever. Um, well, and I, I got an aunt and uncle who live in Huntington Beach that I see every seven years since yeah. I've moved here. Well, they're like a good bar audience, you know? And mm. uh, so it's a good way to, you know, uh, figure out if a joke, you know, it could be, the jokes can be tested in these little precious rooms, you yeah, know, yeah. that are uh, off of side alleys. But then right. you take it to a bar, It's it's got to work at a bar too, you know? Right, and, um, right. So yeah, it's, it's a fun, it's always fun. And then, um, let's see, I was at, uh, I did the roguelike tavern. Hunter Hill wow. has a show and it was a stack lineup. Uh, Ron Funches was on it. Hunter was on it. Um, Sophie Buttle was on it. Uh, Dan Jollies was on it. And, uh, Sophie crushed. What and then they that? brought me right up. I'm like, guys, not, not immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Give the audience a chance to breathe. Give them a sorbet. Just, yeah. Yes, please. So uh, I, I I did not have this like the best set, like I because uh, I don't know, but it was I, I still you know got good got information. I guess let, let's put it that way. You know? where, so where I, is the, where is line. that? That's in Burbank. Oh, it's just and, a Burbank uh, room. It's a it's a venue that people do various shows at. Uh, oh, I think I, I think I have done that one. The, but... It used to be a different place and they would do a different comedy show there. And then they had a fire and okay. then it's now the roguelike tavern. But it was, I think it was like a 
Italian restaurant or something prior to that. You've got to have done shows there before. I before have. You know what? Fire. I remember walking in yes. and it's sort of open. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know that yeah. place. That's great. It's that where sounds like a great yeah. show, though. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was a great show. Yeah, Ron was hilarious. And Wait, uh, it's it was, the Vons yeah. on, on, like, Pass Avenue? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. You know oh, that I used venue, to have karaoke. Right? Yeah. Oh. I, I did karaoke there 20 years ago. Wow. Um, my career is well. on fire. <laughs> and, and then uh, I was, and then the Whaler was going to have one uh, in Venice. But oh, then Wednesday. They, there was like a massive amount of rain and they just decided to postpone it a week. So I'll be at the Whaler this Wednesday. And then oh, Thursday so is the Flappers. I. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm doing the Whaler. Oh, oh, by the way, you and I are hosting a show at Flappers on Fe uh, January 8th. That's a Monday. So oh if you are a local, come to our show. It's a, it's a Jackie and Lori. It's not a podcast. It's a live show. We're going to have some comics of the week uh, at Flappers, eight o'clock show. Jackie okay. is frantically adding it to her calendar. <laughs> I'm just, Why, we're, wasn't I'm just here trying to remind to, you. Uh, January 8th, is it listed? There we go. Um, yeah, it looks it looks good. Yeah, like the 10th, I go to Denver, 9th or 10th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the I, I go the Wednesday before because they always have me do uh, some sort of press on Thursday morning. And I also have to buy some oxygen. So some boosts. <laughs> right, <laughs> so right. yeah, so January, January 8th at Flappers, Eight o'clock show, seven o'clock show. Yeah. What was it? Eight. Something like that. Yeah. But for God's sake, you guys are always talking about wanting to see us in Los Angeles. So yeah, please uh, come out because trek out, trek it out. would be cool to do these periodically. And it's a Monday. You know, it's a chill night. What do you? What else are you doing? You're not doing anything yeah, yeah. else. And you we, know you're not. And we pay the comics out of our Patreon. So uh, yeah, if last we, time you we were to all life. come, uh, <laughs> yeah, then we wouldn't great. have to pay them out of the Patreon. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, we did a live Jackie and Lori at another venue and we ended up losing money. It's like, right. could we just break even? Is there a way <laughs> I can break even in this profession after 35 years in it? I know. It's such Jackie, a shame. Jackie, I'm spending every penny that Comedy Dynamics is giving me on promo. Uh, I'm doing new headshots. I had to buy clothing, which I, I think I know some ladies love shopping. Not this one. It just no. feels like a horrible obligation. I don't yeah. look good in anything and I don't like it. So I, I been and it costs a lot of money. I'm so. supposed to lose weight and buy clothes for this. Don't tell thing, right? The taping. <laughs> Am I no. supposed to change fundamentally? Nope. Hey, nope, nope, let's nope. take a quick break. I think okay. it's been about 30 minutes. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, this I'm Jackie Cation and we do a thing, a comic of the week every week uh -huh. where we talk about a comic that we've worked with. And uh, and we we like to give them what what we call the Jackie and Lori bump. Lori, Lori worked with somebody at the, cr at the crow. I I feel like I'm channeling Jimmy Pardo. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Who, who do you got for us this week, Lori? Oh, uh, so this gal uh, who I didn't know before. I worked with her at the crow uh, last week. Her name is Kelsey Kinney. And very funny from Ohio. Uh, what's her Instagram? Is Kelsey is about from Kelsey from is Ohio. from Ohio. <laughs> K E L S E Y Kelsey, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. is from Ohio. Ohio. Uh, o H I O. And uh, uh, round high in the middle, round on each side. <laughs> yes. Yes. Kelsey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know. This is how, Folks, this this is how it is. This is why ended, comedy you guys. clubs shouldn't be closing on the weekends. Okay. We can't <laughs> Too much handle energy. it. Yeah, we can't handle it. But you you worked with her on The Crow and she was super yes. funny. Super funny, super dark, really funny jokes. Uh, I really liked, I was riveted from joke one. And, uh, you know, she talks about, uh, she talks about gr growing up in Ohio and her life and uh, real interesting and funny. Uh, so check her out. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's the great thing about about Los Angeles. A, a lot of people come here. Not everyone. Some people go to New York. Yeah. Some people don't ever go. <laughs> they just continue <laughs> to work out of their hometowns. Yeah. But um, every three or four months, we always meet several new comics that you're like, where have you been? And they're like, well, I was in Ohio. And uh, <laughs> I was yeah. in, often they say I was in Canada. So yeah, yeah. Well, Kelsey Kinney sounds a... great. I can't wait to work with her. Yeah, she's great. She's flopping around, so you'll see her. Um, yeah, so I'm now. I'm 
now I have to prepare. It's weird because I'm, you know, like preparing to unleash the new Lori Kilmartin on the world, oh, Jackie. Right, right. You, you've re, you've reinvented yourself. Reinventing that promotional website. rescues, working on a new website. Yes, right? all social. You know, it's all going to match. And uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And and so to lead up to it, it's like, well, what what is social media for? It's for so people. I don't know. I guess, you know, like I kind of use Instagram to post clips, but I'm also like, all right, this is for the five people that like me in the world. Hi, bam, 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 bam. But really it's for people that would like your comedy to find you yep. and hopefully they find you with hashtags. So it's so, I mean, you know, it's so calculated, but it, that's, that's what you gotta do. You know, it's right. like, the, I, I, I really wish I had on notes on my phone, all of the yeah. hashtags I'm supposed to use. So you that could. I could just copy and paste. Well, I but mean, have I? I could. It's true. Okay. Right. But I haven't done it. And I would recommend everyone do it. And then someone yeah. send me that list so that I can copy <laughs> and paste it. And then I could just put it in my notes. Because yeah. I don't want to make Well, the then make things. it really specific. Like with me, it's for some bits when I'm talking about parenting, it's uh, boy mom. It's single mom. It's single mom life. It's all the stuff that's that I want single moms to find, you know what I mean? Like you're trying to hook those people in, get them to click, you know, find yeah. it if they click on that hashtag. Yeah, and Melanie, so you're, yeah, there was a lot of sales, a lot of dad, a lot of, yeah. You know. Once you, once you branch out a stand up comedy, FYP, LOL, once you branch out there, then, then they get very specific to what the bits about and what you're about and stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah, yeah. But it's, you, if you she's not it wrong and I'm job, exhausted every time, which it yeah. is, <laughs> <laughs> but still yeah it's uh mm -hmm. it's a lot but um i got i got my oh i got my script back from my friend jose and he had he had he had, he had like little tweaks and they did one note that was like very much a personal taste thing and okay. i'm like i can see what you're saying and i and i need a few more people to tell Say me that. if it's if if they agree or not, like I can see it either way, but I, I kind of liked how it kind of worked together with this one character, but, um, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's nice to go. Okay. So that's pretty close to done. I'd I like to be, I'd like to be, uh, by the time the second rolls around with that, you know, that yeah. week or maybe that week, everyone's still off too, you know, but I, we're all definitely all back in business the week of the eighth, January yeah. 8th where you yeah, and I January are back 8th. in business at, at Flappers. And I'd like to have that spec ready to go and to be sent and not read by any showrunner so that my life can continue in this frustrating fashion. But <laughs> at least I'll know I did my part, you know? Right, um, right. Well, that's it. Your side of the street is clean. Yes. You've done. You've done as much as you can do. And right. then you just have to kind of let go of the results and that's where it blows. Yeah. Uh, I do want to do... I mentioned uh, vision boarding and asking Ron Funches if I could come over and do a vision board, but I don't know if I'll have time. I don't know. Uh, there's been a lot of driving back and forth to the, to the hospital. So, mm -hmm. um, but I may, I may just do a vision board like right here, like in this garage room in the next <laughs> six days or whatever, just because yeah. it would be good. I think, I think I need to kind of focus on what I do want next year mm -hmm. and what I want to sort of let go. And I, you know, I love doing stand up comedy so much, right? but I want, and, and I want to be willing to try different things so that mm -hmm. more people care and I get yes. more work. Yes. But I also want to have acceptance of the fact that I get to do stand up comedy and I love stand up comedy because right. a lot of people don't have that. Right. So, um, yeah. So I want to kind of put that together on my vision board. And well, also, <clears throat> and Jackie, you're really, really great at it. Now, a lot of people never get to be creatively at your level, no matter how long they do it. Well, and that in itself, like, all right. That's I don't know what to money. do with a compliment either. It turns out, but it, but I <laughs> oh mean, my God, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so that is, it's, it's for you, it's your own little, like, wow. Uh, all the work I put in actually shows up every time I'm on stage, which is incredible. Yeah. Does it show yeah. up in a bank account? Maybe not. Yeah. Right. Well, and it's, 
I told Andy, because, you know, it's been, he loves, you know, I love Christmas. He loves Christmas. Christmas is super fun. It, um, but I've decided I'm going to start like a sort of a separate account to save up to do an amazing Christmas trip. And I thought Mm. about not telling him because it was, uh, and then just sort of just, but you can't take someone to London and not tell them (laughs) because... Right. I want to sort of, you know, go where Dickens, you know, I, I think he oh, would yeah. like that. Right. Oh yeah. Sure. Like we could spend a couple of days in New York, go to Rockefeller, you know, go ice skating mm-hmm. and then go to London and, you know, do. You could do the Pride and Prejudice uh, tour up in whenever, wherever that part of England is. Right. We could. Jane we could. Austin. We, uh, he, where, he really likes, uh, he likes Scotland. He went to Scotland mm. once yeah. and he wants to reframe that because I think he went with his long-term girlfriend. Oh, he wants to restamp at Jackie Cation land. <laughs> sure. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I, mean, the th- I mean, I don't know. I don't think when I think of Christmas, I don't necessarily think of Scotland, but uh, you know, pardon me, Scotland. I'm so sorry. I think of tall hats and London just because yeah. of the Muppet movie. Okay, so <laughs> the Muppet Christmas Carol, one of the finest Christmas carols ever made. Jackie, uh, true. Yes. There is a a town, and there are some stones in it's uh Kil, it's called Kilmartin in Scotland, ah. and you are more than welcome to visit. Now, I I don't know as far as I know, my Kilmartins are all from Cork, County Cork, but you know what? It's right. Celtic, whatever. Maybe a long, long time ago. I don't know, but if you wanted to stop by, I'll get Andy to start some Photoshop on that. And um... you can stay in the Kilmartin Hotel. My well, sister did. Well, I'm sure she did, and yeah. she checked in as a Kilmartin. Oh did yeah, she. All right, yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe we would go. It would. It would just be kind of. There's also um, a very a big Dork Forest fan and fan of the show, um, Elena. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, she lives in Switzerland, and so wow. that might be something too. That seems Christmassy. Like if there's an ice sculpture being done, that might be something. I did you know, a couple of gigs in Sun Valley one time. Yeah, and it was right after Christmas, and so all the Christmas stuff was still up, but it was, you know, not exactly Christmas. They say I've read that Dresden, Germany, is incredible during christmas oh yeah yeah they really wow. came back from that bombing <laughs> and uh well they had to rebuild <laughs> they, now they everything. put on a big show but yeah <laughs> right it's uh there's a big there's a big show no fire mm-hmm. um so yeah so yeah know. i'm getting so the- uh, ideally i wouldn't get headshots the day after christmas because there's a lot of things i should have should be doing the day before the headshots which i can't do like okay my nails i'm gonna uh. just try to show up at a place at 10 a.m because we're not doing our photo shoot till one and see if they can do something with because i mean there's like I have, I have a black fingernail because I, you know, I dinged it pretty hard. Like some, it's, oh, right. I need some repair work immediately. Right, right. I forgot <laughs> about it till I looked at my hands today. Just not a nails person. Oh, right. Fair enough. Neither are you, right? No, no, I never, uh, I get my nails done every, I don't know, three or six months. And then I only get them buffed mm. like a man. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah. just because uh, if I have nail polish, the chips and I don't have nail polish remover or the, the wherewithal to the, like, it's the emotional. It's impossible to buy, Jackie. That's the thing. <laughs> it's not available. <laughs> My, they don't have it in Van Nuys. A lot of people don't know this about Van Nuys. Not available. You got to go to Burbank. Um, you got to go by, by the roguelike tavern. Yes. Um <laughs> So supposedly I'm, I, I picked up, uh, I picked up a week in Vegas at the cellar and I picked up a week at Rooster Tea Feathers, uh, as well, but I don't have a San Francisco. I am, I mean, let's see. So January, January is a little busy and then I'm, I'm with Maria in Fargo, North Dakota and Duluth, Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And then I'm also with her. Um, at, at Sketchfest for one night. 
Well, Jackie, you have way more work than me, which angers me greatly. <laughs> right. But it dries up. I texted Louis Lee. I was like, hey, can I come back in April? And he's like, every agent in the world just booked all everything of mine till July. Wow. So I was like, all right, can I, I July make 20th? Sure Bruce is on this. And uh, I said, can I have the week of my birthday, July 20th? And he goes, well, let me check when I get back to work and it's not Christmas Eve, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my apologies, Lewis. And then I, I got back in his good, good books when I said, well, who's there? Who's, who, who's doing New Year's? And he said, Kermit Apio is doing New Year's Eve this year. Oh. And, um, yeah. And, uh, and Brian Regan is at the state in in. And so he's going to come by probably to hang out with Kermit and everybody at Acme after. I think Kermit opens for Brian yeah, sometimes, Yeah, he right? also opens for Brian, yeah. Because he is Kermit. also accidentally squeaky clean. I have to be purposefully <laughs> so. Um, Do we all remember the mummy joke? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen him in a long time, but he's great. Seattle guy. I think he still lives in Seattle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, him and his I saw wife when and their I was kids. Up there last. Yeah, he's, I mean, yeah. it doesn't seem like every city has someone who stayed. They're like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna live like these fucking animals in their cars <laughs> in New York and LA. <laughs> I'm gonna have a life. Like I, I could not have. Uh, it could not have entered my brain to be in a happy relationship and have a child as a comic. And uh, the happy relationship did not enter my brain ever but the child, <laughs> but you know like yeah. they're like kermit there's other it seems like there's one from every, for every city where they're like no i'm i'm gonna you can't conceive of this but i'm gonna have a family and a life and still be a successful comic right and um it still blows my mind uh yeah like kermit's one of those guys that did it you know and he's such a good comic you guys yeah. if you get a yeah. chance to see kermit apio do yeah. it uh i will say that the new um so I took two weeks off of the Dork Forest and uh, it's the end of the year list, which I don't like to create an end of the year list because I'm never on an end of the year list. <laughs> uh, so right after mm -hmm. Christmas, the end of the year list bullshit begins. Mm -hmm. Is looking back going to be on one of those lists? I don't think so. Uh, my 10 should minute be. special. It should be. I'm I looking at so. the ass camera of a Mazda 6. Mm -hmm. don't, don't think it isn't great. Mm -hmm. But I just want to say, Virginia Jones part of the team that helps with the Jackie and Lori show. Mm -hmm. She, uh, one of the top 10 episodes of the dork forest this year so far, Nice, because the voting is still open, but initially, uh, the first one is Andy, uh, because everyone is psyched when Andy's on the show, but <laughs> she's in second right now with her. She dorked out about the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy. Oh yeah. And, and then my long lost cousin, Amy Cation was on and talked about New Jersey canals. Nice. And then um, some, and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. she's I didn't from, know you had a long lost cousin. I have a long lost cousin that my brother Russ found because he loves uh, Ancestry or 23. He yeah. loves the thing. So he found Amy and, and they grew up, I think, in San Francisco, uh, though also possibly in New Jersey. I don't know enough about Amy Cation. In a, perhaps uh, in a canal or? No, she grew up, <laughs> I think she, they grew up because her father is a famous lawyer and, um, I don't know enough. I don't have enough information about how we're I sh we're related. I believe through my uncle Garabed, which I think is an important thing to know. We called him Garb, <laughs> which feels like such a, a a Bill Dwyer kind of. This is my friend. Armenian names are so close to being almost a real name. <laughs> like, I don't know what what. What would? But he he always used Marf as the example. <laughs> my friend Marf <laughs> instead of Mark. And, uh, but it, but That's what I'm a saying Dwyer is, bit. <laughs> yeah, it's such a great bit. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, but what I love about the Dork Forest is that it has like normal people, but it has like some of the great <laughs> comics. You know, like Glenn Tickle. He's a uh, he's a New York New Jersey guy. He was mm -hmm. he's in the top ten right now. And Ron Vi from San Francisco. Yeah. And Adam Felber is in the top already. Nice. Uh, Jason Clem, Will Anderson, Jordan Morris, and uh, David Huntsberger. I just wanted to wow. read those names out loud. And uh, two women, top five. And yeah. Granted, I have not looked at the list. I tend, when booking the uh, the Dork Forest, 
the squeaky wheels get it and and dudes were raised to squeak uh i think is what we know Mm -hmm. and uh so i have to actively try to get um you know more people of color more women more uh, everything right gay trans uh, i don't Mm -hmm. know why i have to uh, name all the things there's a lot of different (laughs) kinds of people you guys (laughs) what i'm saying is that straight white guys you're squeaky and you were raised to squeak so well uh that's good jackie i mean you got to crank out those apps you can't turn anyone down you know no no i just uh yeah i would just like to I, I would just like to spend like a couple of days just recording like five of them oh, so that nice. I could have them in the can. And then I, uh, and then I could just, uh, just keep going and then start the next five. Like right now mm-hmm. I have a list as long. I could do all 50 for next year or 52 oh, for week? next year. Like Alex Trebek, he used to work like yeah. 20 days a year and then just oh, wow. uh, live his life. Oh, that's amazing. Right. Yeah. Speaking of living your life, I th- people. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's take another break because I think we're probably at like fifty minutes in real yeah, life. Because okay, I think we had to stop, mm-hmm. and then we started again. Yeah, I think taking a break in the middle of me making a sentence is an interesting life choice on my part. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, I continue to write premises, Lori, <laughs> uh, instead of jokes. <laughs> I think I, I just keep adding. I want to try, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy with uh, this one chunk that was a little problematic, and now I'm happy oh, with it. And uh, yeah, I think I have like a new angle on whatever, however I'll be starting my next. You know, it's weird, like work. You know, building your next hour. <laughs> you know, like that's. <laughs> I don't know. All of a sudden we turned into all everyone's Louis CK, you know, where it's like, Oh, we're just building. We're just like comics are always replacing material. You're sick of, you know, but I guess maybe we're, we Americans are all are starting to come around to the model of the Europeans and the Australians where they, they do a new hour a year. Like they lead up to something, they record it, you know, put it out and then they start over. I don't know. That's not how club work in the U S works though. You can't you can't dump your special in August and then tell all your January your September dates. All right, guess <laughs> uh, what? I, it's going to be a bombathon. Uh, right. I I have a theme. Any interest? Yeah. No, no, I don't yeah. have any interest. Is what they'll yeah, say. Like, we still you have know to what? Vinny, kill... Vinny at the Stress Factory doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> you still have to kill on the road, right? So it's like yeah. I'll I'll get rid of this bit as soon as I can, but I'm not going to you know, wander mentally up on stage. I, I'm not, I don't have the, the audience to support that. I have, I still have people that, you know, just come to the yeah. club because they had tickets for that night, you know? Right. Right. And, mm-hmm. and it, it's, it's such a clean break that there's part of me that's interested in it, but the don't tell stuff. I literally the week that the work that I have in the next three weeks is I have to memorize uh 10 minutes <laughs> that I need to, that I'm willing to do on don't tell that have never been filmed. Cause I would like video of 10 mm-hmm. minutes from the hero album mm-hmm. that has never been filmed. I have bits from corset that will never be filmed. Hmm. Don't tell might be interested. Yeah. I should, I should, yeah. I should look into that. Reach let me just out. get, let me just get this freaking special out. And then I, then I yeah. can mentally move ahead. Andy and I went to Descanso Gardens. I don't think I'm pronouncing mm-hmm. that right, but uh, it's it it was a light show so in a garden. Yeah. it was so pretty, and it was just like a field of tulips, but it was all lighted, and then it was uh, like and it was pouring rain, and we went in the rain, and it was still amazing, it was still amazing. And then the next day, I went to the Huntington with uh, Andy's buddy Lee. We were all gonna go, but Andy had to go mm-hmm. hang out with his mama. But that night when he came back from the hospital, I was like, what do you need in the world of, you know, self-care? Do you need me to fuck off so you can cry alone? Do you need me (laughs) to hold you? What do you need? (laughs) And he was like, "Uh, I'd like to get a prime rib, please. And so... (laughs) Now, that is (laughs) self-care. Right. We went to the smokehouse. And, uh, and we didn't, uh, and I was talking to Laura house about it and I said, wait, they have like a 
famous like a garlic knot bread right and she said you didn't get the garlic knot bread and i said no we just got regular garlic bread she said well then you didn't really go did you and uh, <laughs> classic Laura negating your experience. Ah. Well, it was like not ordering the coleslaw from the MASH episode from Chicago. Uh, that is I don't a know. deep, deep cut. MASH. Don't know what Remember the TV that. show MASH? Of course. What do you mean ordering coleslaw from MASH? It's a TV show. In, in an episode of MASH, they ordered uh, ribs from Adam's Ribs in Chicago and oh. uh, delivered to Korea, supposedly. And they forgot to order coleslaw. Um, wow. Bit. My dad loved that show so much. I, sh- yeah, there's I, a great I, I bet if I started yeah. rewatching it, I would just burst into tears for two days. <laughs> any number, I should do any that. number of reasons. Cause, uh, it is right there. It's right there on Roku. Uh, it's, it's it? streaming, uh, every episode ever. And I was watching it going, Oh, they were really worried about, uh, making an anti-war statement. Not at all worried about date rape. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. Oh, comedy. <laughs> <laughs> right. That that was one thing I learned uh, that is part of the romance novel thing with that 93. If if you read romance novels from when like they were created, not Jane Austen, mm-hmm. though you could start with Jane Austen, uh, but that wasn't really a historical romance novel. It was contemporary at the time. But um if you mm. you could learn how society has changed and how they've treated date rape and and um and consent and all of these different things, Gee, just watch and, old old Johnny Carson monologues. Watch oh old God. monologues. I mean, old they monologues, do, they old age movies, horribly. What did you horribly. text me about, Kyle? Oh, um, an American in Paris. Uh, Gene uh, Kelly. Taylor and I were watching uh, uh, the Gene Kelly movie American in Paris, and it's super, and the dance things are great, and all the songs are great. And then he is just raping McGee to this poor French lady through the whole movie. And we're about halfway right. through, and I texted Jackie, like, hey, does he ever mellow out? <laughs> <laughs> ever are we going to bail back on the movie? Being a and creep? So we and, uh, uh, we and stepped said, out. Oh, no. It was a bummer. Oh, no. She eventually just goes, oh, fine. Boo. You could have my body. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, you know what I did do is uh, uh, a very funny comic named Kenny DeForest died yeah. about mm. a week and a half ago. And I hadn't watched a special, you know, watch a lot of specials, although I'm trying to watch more of them. And he had one up on YouTube and I started watching it. It's so fucking good. The yeah. the beginning, he's playing basketball with somebody and then it kind of leads into him going to the club. But it's a, it's a it looks really cool and different from the normal people standing yeah. outside a comedy club while your name's up on the marquee. Right. Which yeah. is like, yeah, uh, in, intro 101. The set's really cool looking. It's funny. And uh, he has some cool um, like uh, uh, lights in the takes. back. Yes. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. His stand up yeah. his stand up was it, what I would say is that it's super genuine, you know? Yes. It just yeah, came, yeah, it didn't yeah, come yeah. where mm-hmm. he was like, I'm just a person mm-hmm. and here's the comedy that I'm thinking yeah. about. And some big topics were addressed and some real tiny topics were addressed. Yeah. And that is the best. It, it is really because we all have that. Yeah. And uh, it's someone you're like, I'd like to see this guy, you know, in five years and in 10 years, like, I want to see the growth. I want to see how his life turns out and how it reflects comedically. And so unfortunately, he was, uh, he was uh, on a bicycle bike and yeah. uh, a car, he was in a car accident. Um, so he passed away from that, uh, that injury. But it's a great special. His name is Kenny DeForest. And it's on YouTube. And I would, you know, any comic what you you would love it if people just watch your shit <laughs> yeah you know and uh you know it's you aren't um you're doing yourself a favor because it's a really 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 great special it's yeah it's a it's a yeah. present to you it's not like you're doing some obligation yeah, you're not doing you won't be doing you know? him a favor he's good yeah uh though he is yeah. in heaven going oh look at the how many likes i got and, uh, <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, that is, that you've just sentenced him to hell. If that's what we're doing in the afterlife, is checking our likes, Jackie. That's hell. If I believed in hell, uh, yeah, that is hell. It's hell on earth. Uh, the uh, but I will say that um, the other guy that passed away, Neil Nanda, Neil passed away a couple of days ago. That was really shocking. Yeah. And um, uh, you know, I'm I heard sure he had just did... moved to New York, right? Fuck. 
um, you had done Unnecessary Evil, I'm sure, at the West Side. And Kyle, like, oh, it's yeah. a show he ran for a long time. It was a lot of fun. He was just a great guy and, uh, you know, and had kind of just he had that burst he had a social media burst and was all of a sudden just like doing really well and it's like ah oh, that's so cool it's like possible you know and um you know unfortunately he died uh just a a great guy and yeah he, he also has a lot of stuff online does he have a special mm -hmm. online he does so Probably. Uh, N -E -E i know he, I, I, l nanda yep. n-a-n-d-a rhymes with panda or, or spelled like panda but yeah. check him out yeah um <clears throat> yeah you got to find a place to to bleed off any sort of worries and anxieties it's a it's a hard it's a hard time of year and mm -hmm. the thing about careers in stand-up comedy is that they they plateau and they peak and they plateau and they dip and mm -hmm. you think you're never gonna like I re remember it was probably three years ago when that guy Adam didn't pass me at the comedy store Oh, right. I was like, what? Three years and I ago? Was, it was probably three or four years ago. Oh, it was God. before a uh, lockdown. So, right. And it's been quite some time. So, yeah. I know it's all a blur. It feels like yesterday yeah. when I was slighted. Uh, <laughs> but it turns out there's still a hat store where I could do fucking stand up comedy. So, mm -hmm. it's not. And if I had the energy, I would go and audition for Emily over at the comedy store and she might pass me. So, uh, and then I might have a place to park, but, uh, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't cost $25. Oh my God. Right. To go do stand up comedy at the comedy yeah. store. Yeah. And, uh, but I will say that, um, that we, things get like weird, weird things like that. If I wasn't taking care of myself on a daily basis mm -hmm. where I wasn't doing, you know, I do a fair amount of just self care where I, yeah. And it could be anything. In my case, it's often a mole massage, you guys, because I have twenty six dollars. <laughs> and uh, so but whatever it is, and I bleed off and I talk to my friends when I'm when I'm bummed and I don't lay it all on one friend. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, and I I try to do like prayer and meditation. I mean, I just try to take care of myself so that when th something super irritating flies in from left field. Because I I you don't know when you're going to snap. It's all cumulative and it's just, you have to figure out a way to do something every day for yourself to keep yourself a little bit in love with yourself, you know, and, and aware of not grat, not just the, it's a big word, right? Gratitude. It's always talking mm -hmm. about, you got to be grateful for stuff, but it's more than that. Right. It's also just being, uh, you know, just accepting. It's like what I was talking about earlier, just being willing to, try to keep trying but to also accept that where i'm at is also a good place you know yeah. whenever i think to myself i live indoors i have a car i have gas yeah. mm -hmm. i can i can uh, there's food in the house mm -hmm. people like me <laughs> it's fine mm -hmm. i am loved mm -hmm. this is all very basic stuff so i should i should i can keep going it's not gonna you know yeah anyway but what do you think? You want to wrap it up on that or too positive? Yeah. What do you think? Rest, too positive? Uh, rest in peace to uh, Kenny and Neil. And yeah. uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, but uh, we miss you. Happy New Year. <laughs>